now to the part of the world where I am today. Relations between Saudi Arabia and the United States have been strained of late. That and here's another battle that the West is fighting, a battle of narratives, a battle to win new allies, only that it is failing miserably at this. Forget new allies, even old friends of the West are ditching it, like Saudi Arabia. First, it refused to ramp up oil production for the European Union, and now it wants to be a part of BRICS, a block of five major emerging economies, including China and Russia. Will Saudi Arabia join the BRICS? Nelson Mandela's successor, Cyril Ramaphosa, returned recently to South Africa after a meeting with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in the Saudi capital of Riyadh. The Crown Prince had made it clear that Saudi Arabia wants to join BRICS and that the country has many things to offer. This is a very important surprise as other countries may decide to do the same. And the increasing excitement around BRICS is reflective of the changing dynamics in a stronger, multipolar order. What are the consequences of this decision from Saudi Arabia? Why Saudi Arabia is so strategic for the world and West? Are we approaching an upcoming new multipolar order? Is Saudi Arabia opening the gates of renewed global politics? Hello everyone, welcome back to Edge Capitalism. We analyze how power and value is created in the world. Today's video can redefine the way nations have interacted with each other for decades. The reason is that after the COVID pandemic, new countries are increasingly forecasting what alliances may be more convenient for them and for their regions. This can rapidly change the future of politics. Although many people are unaware of this, the reality is that these changes are happening now, and they're happening very rapidly. In this video, let's dig deeper into the reasons and consequences of Saudi Arabia joining the BRICS. Let's get started. The BRICS nations are a correlation of the five of the largest economies that do not belong to the G7. These economies are Brazil, South Africa, China, India, and Russia. The goal of the BRICS is to support the multilateral political and economic development of the nations that do not include the Western Bloc of the European Union and the United States with Canada. To promote their mission, the BRICS have created a development bank, the new development bank with an initial funding of $100 billion. Brazil played an important role in the creation of the BRICS. Before the term BRICS was coined in 2001, Brazil had been often identified as a regional leader of developing countries in Latin America, with a strong nexus in Africa. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva and his foreign minister Celso Amorim had been much instrumental in pushing forward the idea of a South-South cooperation. Brazil was also one of the five countries to launch negotiations for a free trade area of the Americas, which was finally signed by 12 countries and came into effect in January 2006, being pivotal in the negotiation of the World Trade Organization Agreement on Agriculture that came into force on January 1, 2003. The influence of the five countries that composed the alliance in supporting the BRICS was characterized as low-intensity diplomacy, with a particular emphasis on multilateralism, but not to lose its sovereignty and independence in order to maintain its global interests. With that in mind, the BRICS started a multinational alliance of countries interested in changing the course of global politics. In the past, Latin America relations with Europe were characterized by a complex mixture of economic and political interactions, with many impeding factors such as the conflicts of interests between North and South America. Also, Brazil had a long history of migration from Europe through trade and religious reasons. However, since World War II, because Brazil was forced to turn inwards for self-protection, due to its geographical location in South America at the time, the country had little contact with Europe beyond trade and migration. In the case of Russia, despite its highly influential political power, the country has been consistently isolated from the West, under policies implemented by Europe and the United States. A similar situation has happened with China. Finally, India has increasingly become a very strong global political player. At this point, an international alliance of important countries became a strategic step in the direction of the interests of the South. Specifically for the cases of China, India and Russia, these nations were characterized by having a high growth rate, large population and robust foreign reserves. In the recent years, India has grown rapidly, while China strengthened their economic role and Russia gained global influence. In their view, the BRICS intention is promoting economic and political cooperation between five large emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The BRICS are also focusing on their own domestic economies, rather than trying to compete with Western nations for global economic supremacy. The BRICS countries are collectively the fifth largest economy on Earth. They are also developing rapidly, 
with an annual growth rate of over 7% since 2017. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa also comprise approximately 3.2 billion people or half of the world's population. Furthermore, they have a combined GDP of 21 trillion US dollars, two-thirds of which comes from China alone. In the last two years, more and more countries have expressed an interest in being part of the BRICS Union. As such, countries like Saudi Arabia not only received good comments at the BRICS conferences, but as well formal invitations to become part of the alliance. Saudi Arabia is the world's largest oil producer and exporter. It is also the second largest producer of natural gas. Saudi Arabia has been a major supplier of oil to the United States for decades. The United States imports about 10 million barrels of crude oil from Saudi Arabia every day, which accounts for 20% of its total consumption. Moreover, the US imports more than $1 billion worth of goods from Saudi Arabia every day, which includes petroleum products, machinery, and agricultural products. According to the US Energy Information Administration, the US bought about 24 million barrels of oil a day since 2017, meaning that the US imports almost two-thirds of its daily supply. Most recently, the US Energy Information Administration announced recently that the market is scrambling to find new sources of supply after President Donald Trump pulled out of a nuclear deal with Iran that included sanctions relief on its oil exports. Saudi oil is important for the United States because it provides a significant amount of energy to the country and it also provides a significant amount of trade between both countries. Saudi Arabia can become rapidly a key player in the future of the BRICS nations. It is one of the most influential countries in the East region and has a lot to offer to this group. Saudi Arabia has been an important player in the Middle East for decades. It has been a major player in regional politics and economies, and it is also one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Saudi Arabia's influence on regional affairs will be crucial for any future multilateral order that may emerge from BRICS Plus or any other international group. Saudi Arabia has traditionally had close ties with the US, and it is likely that this will continue as it becomes part of BRICS Plus. The country has been playing an active role in BRICS Plus and partially, it has been a member of different activities conducting in coordination with the Bretton Woods institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund, the World Trade Organization and the World Bank. Saudi Arabia's foreign policy also has close ties with Russia and China, as it counts these two countries among its top trade partners. In addition, Saudi Arabia is a member of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation OIC, which is led by Turkey and shares diplomatic relations with China and Russia. Despite all that, Saudi Arabia also has strong ties with France, the US, Britain, Germany and Japan. Despite its strategic role, not everything is so easy for Saudi Arabia. In 2012, Saudi Arabia became a full member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. This created a big concern of the United States that has since criticized the Riyadh government, but keep buying their oil. Saudi Arabia is also one of the first members of the African Development Bank group. In November 2016, it was revealed that Saudi's Minister of Finance Dr. Ibrahim El Asaf had been appointed to sit on the board of directors for Africa Development Bank Group, ADB. The appointment was effective from 1st November 2016 until 31st October 2021 and strengthened the political and historical relations of the kingdom with Africa. This is why the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, went back in the country after meeting with the ruler of Saudi Arabia and Riyadh, claimed that the BRICS will require a strategic alliance with the kingdom. Moreover, the Crown Prince had made it clear that Saudi Arabia wants to join BRICS and that the country has many things to offer. If in any case the BRICS confirm the arrival of Saudi Arabia in the alliance, it is very probable that new and more countries will join. This will not only imply a problem for US alliances in the Middle East region, but also for Europe, who, despite the differences with Iran, has been planning to buy gas from the already heavily sanctioned country. In the meantime, as Russia becomes increasingly isolated from the US, this could lead to a bubble of isolationism for Europe and the US. They may not be able to find any alliances with other countries because they are no longer global leaders like they once were. This explains why the potential move of Saudi Arabia can trigger a series of events that can change global politics as we know it. If it will happen sooner or later is already on the table. Many countries have their own bets, but the only reality is that the world is changing rapidly. That is it for today. I hope you liked this video. For more updates on this topic, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Remember, capitalism is about creating value, not money. See you all soon with more interesting information. Till then, see you.